Virtual reality is a computer-generated environment perceived through special glasses or headsets. The VR scenes and objects appear natural and users feel immersed in their surroundings. Many individuals think blind people cannot use virtual reality because they need to see to participate in VR. In reality, blind people can participate in VR by using a screen reader or menu narration, but would also acquire a control method for locating and navigating the VR controls. If I were given a special app or device designed for a blind person that allowed me to experience virtual reality, my world would most likely look like a radio station. I would navigate my virtual world with radio boards and built-in screen readers, allowing them to talk. I would encounter an adventure that would make me the most successful DJ in the world. My show would include call-ins from famous guests like Taylor Swift, Harry Styles, and many great artists. I would be responsible for setting up and playing all the music on air, and my virtual reality station would be commercial free. Virtual reality can be addictive because you're living a fantasy life. I would leave the virtual reality world easily by setting a downtime schedule where the app or device no longer works without a passcode. Ethically, virtual reality can promote negative behaviors or ideas that can be difficult for individuals to distinguish right from wrong. Philosophically, virtual reality is a fantasy and not reality. Philosophy is learning about the world in which we live and our relationships with the world and each other. In contrast, virtual reality is about a fantasy world, which is not valid or sound. Virtual reality can create unrealistic or unhealthy expectations. According to Plato, allowing people to plunge themselves into an imaginary world could cause them to forget themselves and become excessively wrapped up in their virtual world. Virtual reality can be an exciting way to relax, escape, and have fun in a fantasy world. VR is very visual, but with the proper accommodations for a screen reader, menu narration, and a control method to locate and navigate the controls, even blind people can participate. I'm Kathleen Mishana, and this is the BTGS Guide to Human Values.